Well, Mary, that just about does it for today's session. You're coming along well and have accomplished much, Dr. Sama. I feel more confident, and I will stand up to that man. And next time, I'll turn his boss ass in for harassment. Excellent. By the way, I'd like to make a suggestion about your tobacco use. No! I won't want to hear it! I am not going to quit smoking. Why can't everybody just leave me alone? My husband, my kids, my boyfriend, my parents, they all just keep giving me crap. If all is going well, I would never recommend a depressed patient to stop their antidepressants such as Prozac. Just the same, I wouldn't want for you to stop tobacco as it may be your antidepressant as well. The only difference is you're smoking your medication. I would rather you take the pill version, but that's another story. So true. When I've quit smoking in the past, I have felt incredibly sad, frustrated with life. But with tobacco, I actually feel normal. All I want for now is for you to change your brand of tobacco to a non-additive tobacco. That's it. Non-additive. So why? May I? Open for suggestions. Wicked tobacco companies lace dangerous chemical additives into their product to make you more addicted to their brand and cause an overwhelming desire to smoke so much more. Unbelievable. Oh, and uh, be aware that when you change your brand of cigarettes, you may experience temporary withdrawals. If I can cut back on the amount that I smoke, as well as lessen the chances of getting cancer, what the hell? It's a good trade. I'm here for you. Thank you. And next time, I'd be interested in hearing about that other story. I was hoping so.